All right, speaking, look at that timing. You know, as I shout out the praises of tech, they just told me we're ready. So without further ado, let's kick it off. Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Richter Any Percent by Epic Kai. So we might not have gotten the Alucard run, but we managed to get Richter in there. Uh, you'll notice that we have a sweet hand cam here, which we are going to use immediately. <laughs> Now let's see if we can get an actual five on this. Are we going to be good here? Five, four, three, two, one. All right. <laughs> Castlevania Symphony of Night. This is going to be record mode. We've got a couple of people on the mic here. This is a very fast run, so we're going to be going through it kind of as quickly as possible. Richter has a ton of different movement tech that he has available to him that Alucard does not have in this game. You're seeing Kai do this kind of dash forward with uh, circles around him that's called the blade dash. It can be done in the air or on the ground. It's a very fast form of movement. gives him complete invincibility and does a ton of damage on it. Uh, Mecha, would you be able to kind of talk about Ricker's slide and some of the options available to him? Uh, yeah, so uh, a lot of the moves he's doing right now or just did was a slide kick. Uh, that's just a down jump, and if he does another jump like immediately after, you can slide kick. Uh, during the entrance, uh, we used to do uh, slide kick throughout all that, but uh, it's actually a little bit faster, it just air slash through all of it, which is an up down forward attack. Um, the problem with slide kick is, if you don't kill the enemy with that hit, uh, you get knocked back, so the air slash is just a little stronger and you can go through enemies and not have to worry about that. So we're also seeing Kai like reposition himself at certain times positioning is extremely crucial inside of the Richter run because if Kai gets off balance too much uh, Richter takes lots of damage throughout this run it is not uncommon for Richter to die in no more than four hits like it could be a bat and he'll die in four hits or less and as he gets further and further into this run it's going to be less and less mistakes that he can make so he needs to kind of keep on point with stuff and, uh, I know Kai was having a little bit of trouble earlier today, kind of waking up and stuff, but I'm sure he'll get into his groove here soon enough. Uh, this is a very, very notorious room because for some reason it just feels like inputs don't really work as well as they should on the stairs. I don't know why. Uh, it seems to happen to pretty much everybody that runs this game. And you have to have a very specific rhythm going through that room. If you mess it up just even slightly, it can be pretty disastrous because there's a spike ball at the top of the room and Richter has pretty much no health. He's like, everybody calls him a glass cannon because that's... Right, yeah, I yeah, I don't want to get the Bible, but... So is, uh, these slide kicks uh, <coughs> enemies is actually... Oh, I'm sorry. These slide kicks going into enemies is actually uh, back flipping off of it, but immediately air slashing, and that's a slight optimization that uh, makes nice. things a lot quicker over the course of the run. So what he just did right there was, uh... Ooh. Okay, so we're going to be going to do it again. It's okay, this is a fast go-through. And honestly, I'm sure anybody on this couch that has run <laughs> Symphony of the Night for any amount of time has definitely lost runs inside of that yeah, hallway or yeah. in general. It's not unusual to uh, die during a run, especially uh, marathon runs. It happened to me at Kellython last year, so... <laughs> yeah, the, uh... I'm reminded of a quote. I don't remember who was the first person to say it, but it's interesting that the the expected outcome of speedrunning is failure, right? Because not every run you're going to get is going to be a PB. Mm -hmm. And so, like, when you see these marathon runs, it really is a show of kind of that no-reset mentality. You know, like, if you had to keep going with a run, you know, what can you produce? Yeah. And you really get to see that type of metal in events like this. So Kaiser's going to take a slight detour here to go ahead and refill his health. Go ahead and continue on. So we didn't cover this thing, but uh, Richter has his own version of Gravity Boots, but it has a couple of intricacies regarding how far it can go. Do you want to talk about that a bit, Rom? Um, yeah, so the uppercut, which uh, is uh, the same input as Alucard's Gravity Boots, once it hits a ceiling, it actually uh, leaves you without an ability to do any input for four frames. So... 
Every single air slash he does after hitting a ceiling is a lot tighter than the usual uh, window he has for that. And also, uh, something else he might do at a couple spots is hold jump when he's going into the ceiling because that lets him float there a little for better positioning, like Turbo mentioned earlier. Just, uh, again, positioning on everything is a key in this run. If you're out of position, especially in Second Castle later, like out of position on anything, uh, Richter's pretty much dead. <laughs> on top of uh, inputs being dropped, Anytime you touch a ceiling, they can do that. Also, screen transitions will reset the uh, input combination. So if you're doing like, you know, the air slash input and you screen transition during that, it will cancel the entire input combination. So he has to be careful when he uh, does air slashes throughout these rooms. And you can see there, that was one bad attack. <laughs> And it does that much damage to Rector at this point in time. Uh, Rector will get a slight stat boost going into the second castle when we reach there. However, that is not going to be able to combat the amount of damage that he's going to take. So Kai is trying to initiate a damage glitch here using Hydra Storm and then throwing yeah, in all the holy water. That kills bosses extremely fast when it connects. Basically stacks the ability to Hydra Storm twice, essentially. Like it just starts hitting them twice as fast. Something to kind of cover with the uppercut as well. Um, something that's very different from Alucard when you're getting used to the two runs. Alucard goes straight up with his gravity boot. Richter will always move a little bit forward with his gravity boot. But if you hold forward as you do it, it actually allows you to move further forward. So there's a little bit of intricacy in choosing how much horizontal space you want to get with your uppercuts as you proceed through the castle. Here's the trickiest part in the run, is using the teleporter. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so you did there, um, something Wild Mouse pointed out, is uh, the ability to uh, buffer your input in between loading zones. So he, he held down, or he pushed down then up to teleport, and then just held jump and it like did the entire uh, uppercut uh, attack as soon as he uh, teleported, which is pretty cool. So he went for a little cute clip there on the outside, but you know, you give it a couple of times. Um, that's really only something that you do at like the maximum echelon because it's it, only like one second. It saves about a second, yeah. but <laughs> it's really, really hard to pull off. And there's different versions of it too, so yeah. it could even save less time depending on what happens. So once again, just uh, trying to get a damage stack here. Even if you don't get the damage stack, uh, the Hydra Storm does enough damage to finish off most bosses in the game. Um, if you did a full one on Shaft, then it would kill him. But a lot of times, Richter players will run out the Hydra Storm early in order to try to get a damage stack and kill him faster. Dangerous room coming ahead. If Kai makes a slight mistake here, he might blow a Hydra Storm. All right, so we're gonna give this one more shot, I think. All right, <laughs> so it looks like we got a couple backup saves here. All right, so we got one at the uh, at the chapel. So we're gonna go ahead and finish off Medusa again. And I mean, this is the roughest part about this run. Is there's gonna be times where just things are not working out for you. Regarding inputs too, um, Soton's input reader is consistent, but it's very... Not forgiving. It's not forgiving, and it's not what you would expect, I guess you would say. Like, you have to do a lot of fighting game inputs in order to do Richter's special moves and some of the special spells in the game. However, Soton wants a very particular input. Um, I like to give the example where if the fireball in Street Fighter is down to forward and then as you press forward you press punch, like those two things together, Soten wants down to forward, then punch. <laughs> it wants you to let go of everything and then press punch. And that actually trips up a lot of players when they first start playing this game, if they come from a fighting game background. That Minotaur room is scary. <laughs> if he screws that up just a little bit, those uh, axes that the mentors have is an instant kill. Uh, 
Speaking of fighting games, those uh, werewolves have a nice anti-air jab that just kills you instantly, too. This is the notorious zigzag room. So this is the place where your inputs getting locked from uppercut is pretty brutal when trying to get through it. Um, holding the jump tends to help it out a little bit, but this is still like, really hard to do optimally. So we're going to be wrapping up on the last part of this run here. We're going to be heading over to Shaft, trying to get that last uh, damage stack. And I mean, you probably get a bit of a, like with the hand cam up, you're also getting to see just how like active you need to be and how many inputs there are and just how little margin of error there is for this run at any given time. So curious, if you had to estimate, Mecha, how many runs have died at Shaft to either not getting the damage stack or just randomly dying when you tried to recover from not getting a damage stack? A lot. A lot. <laughs> few hundred. So activates early on the Hydra Storm. Okay. Yeah, so he's just going to blow the second Hydra Storm there. Wasn't able to that's get the time, damage, by there, the way. that's time. Yeah. Rough couple starts, but that's Richter. I mean, that's... Yep, that's billion things go wrong. Also, I glitched background. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did to the castle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hydro Storm too many times. I'm so not like a top 10 runner in this game at all. <laughs> <laughs> but you're epic, Kai. Oh, man. Hey. Are you the wind, Dark Man? Nope. So, uh, regarding that Drake and Josh, so... Can we get a donation incentive for making a Drake and Josh tutorial from Darkman? I already went over this with chat. No, I can't because I'm not the one that's going to be winning the cart. But for the viewers at home, if you win it, you could make the tutorial for Drake and Josh. Did we mention it's sealed? Oh, we did. All right. Well, once again, thank you very much, Kai, for that awesome Richter any percent. 